Thank you, Pacers and Racers tonight and all weekend long, really. Indy sports fans are loving it. And about an hour ago, the Indiana Pacers beat the New York Knicks in a thrilling NBA playoff game at Cambridge Fieldhouse. We also had the Indy cars back on the track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today. But let's start with the blue and gold coming into tonight. They were down two games to none in the series against the Knicks. They needed a win to have any real chance of advancing. And those Pacers, yeah, they did it. They delivered in a heart stopping fashion. CBS 4 Alexa Ross joins us now in the studio with that exciting finish. Hi Alexa. Hey guys. Yeah, the Pacers returned to Gainbridge Fieldhouse for game three down two games. Nothing. They knew that a bounce back was going to be necessary to keep those playoff dreams alive and boy did they Tyrese Halliburton led the blue and gold with 35 points. Miles Turner finished with 21 points and 10 rebounds, but Andrew Nemhard had the shot of the night time ticking down all tied up at 106. Nemhard lets it rip knocks down the game winning triple the blue and gold find a way to get their first victory of the series. I was really proud of the way our guys hung in, kept fighting, stayed the course, kept their emotions in check um, and then a couple of plays at the end. I mean, the, the Siakam chase down block, you know, the Nemhard shot. There's just a lot of things to be proud of, um, but it's only one game. And so we're going to have to circle the wagons very quickly and get ready for Sunday afternoon. Tyrese's face in that last shot was pretty much everybody's uh, face after watching Andrew Nemhard hit that. So I'll have full highlights from tonight's matchup as well as Nemhard's thoughts on the big shot coming up later in sports. Till then, Bob and Jenny, back to you. Alexa, thank you. And it was a great time to be a Pacers fan, and they yeah. were out in droves tonight downtown. Yeah, they got their money's worth, didn't they? CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik has this late report from Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Well, it was a nail biter tonight as that game came down to the wire, but there was a crowd of thousands of fans pouring out of Gainbridge Fieldhouse tonight, headed to downtown to start their celebration this Friday night. So excited about this win, and it is so clear that fans tonight are revved up. A second round of the NBA playoffs in Indianapolis comes with a new round of memories for many Pacers fans. It's going to be revved up, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Go Indiana! For many, it's all about building a special family experience, passing on Pacers passion from one generation to the next. It's the best. Um, I remember all the memories that I have going to games. My grandfather had season tickets for years, and so any opportunity that I can have to hang out with these guys, share the basketball, share the love of Pacers, it's, it's a good time. While some fans have already seen the playoff Pacers, many fans we spoke with tell us Friday night's game marked their first ever Pacers playoff game or even their first ever NBA game. They say the energy and team spirit is on a new level. I'm really excited. I love Indy and I love the atmosphere around Indy, so it's been really fun walking around and seeing all the fans. I really like the atmosphere now too. It's, uh, it's obviously a lot dis different being that the All-Star game was here, so it's pretty exciting. Friday's matchup also marked an epic birthday celebration for one young fan we spoke to. His dad says there was no better way to celebrate than taking his son to his first Pacers playoff game. We're so excited. I mean, we all have been a Pacer fan my entire life, so we're really fired up that we got a team that could have a chance to win it this year. The excitement and passion for the team has built up all season long, and every fan we've talked to says they're proud of this young athletic Pacers team. This new team is so exciting to watch that we, we, we felt like we had to come. Halliburton's impressive. The whole team's impressive. We were having so much fun watching them in the first round, and we're super psyched to be here for the second round. I really like Tyrese and Obi, the connection they have, and being able to just, you know, throw it from half court and Obi go get it. It's really cool to see. And the Pacers will be right back out here at Gainbridge Fieldhouse Sunday night with the chance to tie up the series. In downtown Indianapolis, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Yeah, some more details. As Michael mentioned, Pacers next game four coming up on Sunday. Tip off is at 3.30 at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. There's a pregame party at Bicentennial Unity Plaza for ticket holders. The